Okay, hello everybody. Oh, sorry about the technical difficulties. I, it was a bit of a last minute thing today. Thankfully, Nicholas has accepted my okay. invitation. Come on. Hello. Oh, whoa, whoa, everybody. whoa, 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 whoa. I hate it. Okay. When he does that. Headphones. Let me get headphones. Headphones. I definitely. But, um, yeah, yeah, let me know when you got them. But this news I was not expecting yeah. at all. Oh, don't worry. Go get the headphones. <laughs> Wait, so are people are already asking questions. Wow. Uh, Go for it. Hang on. We'll read out the statement in a second, guys. It's all very overwhelming. I genuinely did not expect this to happen. I mean, 2020. In my okay, head. <laughs> it's fine. I was just saying how 2020 was uh, already a bit of a shocker of a year, and now this has happened. I, I, I don't know how to feel off the bat. But if anyone doesn't know, uh, the EBU have officially announced that America is going to have their own contest in 2021 during their holiday season. So basically, that's the like Thanksgiving and Christmas, um, like that. The last few months, I think that's how when it is. I don't know exactly the dates; they haven't been confirmed yet. But we're going to have two Eurovision contests that year, and one is going to be in America. I don't know what they're going to name it. Is it America Vision? Isn't it the American Song Contest? I mean, is it's it a real original name. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Nick, you take it away, because how are you feeling about this? Okay, so I, I don't know, because I'm kind of a hypocrite, because like, if I wouldn't want any American, well, the US involved in anything, then that means I don't really want Australia involved and I love Australia in the contest. I know it's a separate contest, but I think it will eventually spill over into the winner eventually going to Eurovision. Especially mm -hmm. if you said if it's going to be around Thanksgiving, which is around early December, that will literally just be Albania to just be like the first entry or whatever. But, I mean, I don't see the... I don't see how it can be a bad thing because it's like, okay, yeah, it's, it's their own concert that's starting it from scratch. I'm going to do it the American way. And as long as that builds a fan, I don't think anyone would put the amount of money that will go into a test to make a joke out of it. Like, I think they will take it seriously as a competition. So if that fan base grows, like, eventually people will be curious and they'll look into your vision. So they'll look at it like in the good way and not like how most Americans or how we see most Americans looking at it as a joke. Yeah. So I, I'm just hopeful that it's like that, but yeah. Did you, do you feel a bit like, like, you know, the movie before we got the movie, did you feel a bit like that? Cause right yeah. now I'm feeling like maybe a little bit more skeptical though, than I was in the movie. Cause that was a one-off. Whereas this is going to be every year if it, I guess if it goes well. Yeah. Thing is with them, the movie, the good thing is that as a fan, it didn't actually disappoint me or I didn't feel like insulted, but I didn't like the movie. I think it was, it was all right, but it was nothing. Well, I mean, we never found out who actually won the contest. Sorry. Like this is so sidetracked, but that's yeah. one thing. But it did disappoint me. I guess I, like, Obviously, with the movie, it's not a documentary about the song contest, so they made it their own. And it really did stick to what Eurovision was like. I mean, okay, yeah, there was a voting in, like, the semis, but you need that for the storyline. So I was pleasantly surprised by the movie, so I just hope that, because, I mean, it's the EBU, right, that are, like, kind of controlling me. So yeah. I don't think they'll let the most prestigious contest be kind of, like, mocked or whatever. Yeah. I agree. So, I think. Yeah. Sorry, Adam. No, 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 no. Go ahead. But sorry, I cut you off. I'm saying that I, ju I just don't think that. I don't know. I mean, America does have good music. I guess, like, I mean, I just have like my mm. own bubble of regular songs. So I don't really listen to anything else. But yeah, like it will it's give like us chances. Music. Fans. It will give fans a chance to just first of all, like, we just want Eurovision all year round, like as a fan. So just having like another concert which is a spin-off wouldn't be bad. I mean, we've been waiting for Eurovision Asia for God knows, and that's just not gonna happen. Yeah. So what happened to that? I, because because like it was like really gonna it was like really gonna happen this year or next year. I can't remember. Someone was telling me it was gonna definitely happen and it was announced last year. Or... There was something like about four years ago that was gonna go on and then 
then they went silent for two years. Then they released the trailer and then nothing. They it, literally they just dropped it. It's like they forgot literally every single password. Yeah. So all their social medias and they have a thing. You know that with it's so much harder with all the political reasons to actually get a contest. And I mean, with the states, I guess it's easier because it's one country. And I mean, yeah. if Eurovision you to drop, I mean, I know America's quite like, there's tons of shit happening there right now and everything. Like, it is just a way, I guess, to unite the country again. I mean, if we go with the same principles yeah. and why, that's why they want to do it. Like, there's yeah. obviously potential. I mean, I don't think... I know the Swedes are very... I don't know exactly because I, I can't remember. I read it this morning. But I know that there's some involvement from the people that are involved in Eurovision and has taken it on the, that way. And I, I don't really think I want to piss someone off like that who's in charge of the contest because I don't think they'd bother doing more of it. Yeah. I don't know. Like It's all just speculation, isn't it? It, it It's... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of torn, to be honest. Like, I... I mean, I have nothing against Americans in general. I, I mean, my boyfriend's American. Like, I love America in its own way. Um, I do think it's a really good way to bring everyone together, especially of everything that's kind of been happening. Um, but like, I guess they're going to have every state compete, which is quite exciting in that sense. Because if, if you go to America, for us Europeans, a lot of us haven't really explored America. There are so many different elements, cultures and food and just like music everywhere. It's so different. It's so big. So it, the potential could be quite exciting. I am just a bit worried that it will become very Hollywood, like that kind of genre, like pop. Like I, I would like to see more like true to state music if that makes sense like, i don't want to just see one genre of music i want to see cultures and that's what makes eurovision so exciting is the different cultures so if we have that then that'd be fine but if it just turns into a beauty contest like a lot of american song singing contests which a lot of them are apart from like the voice um i just i really hope it doesn't become that again and it doesn't take away from what we have you know i'm guessing i guess is what countries one or like mm -hmm. it, for me all the boys down to the artist i want the artist one because obviously like mm -hmm. whoever wants to go ethnic or whatever or traditional that is on them but if it, it's so like with revision if you want to win like on your best chance is literally just sending some pop that will literally chart across but then you get the odd occasions where like for example when portugal won three years ago with mm -hmm. like a portuguese like ballad like it just depends, like, I, I guess it's going to kind of be like Eurovision where most countries would just want to send pop and that, and then some of them are just going to stick to just being creative and that, and it will just yeah. depend on who they want to send. Yeah. But I lose, because at the end of the day, what I think is that whenever artists go, I think they're going to go with something that's truly them. I always say that there's many artists that go to Eurovision, they just send a song for Eurovision. Because when you check the discography, it's completely different. But then yeah. if you're competing in the, like, if you're competing in the American Song Contest and it's just for America, you don't really, I guess, like, if you want to, like, make yourself a big name in America with a song that you like and what's true as, for yourself as an artist, like, yes, a song that's literally saying, this is me. Like, I'm guessing, like, at the variety, because, like, you're not going to put yourself in front of like the whole country singing a song for you to become popular and that's not going to be what you want to sing, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I completely I get you. That's so long word, but <laughs> no, 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 I just no. think that, I think more artists would be real in sending songs because it's not like they have to compete with different countries for what different countries want. Like overall, yeah, like, every single state is kind of different, but at the end of the day, they're one country. So if you want to yeah. be successful in doing what you do, you're going to send that because just the exposure that you're going to have with all America watching you is just going to be in I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's already got a lot of backlash <laughs> um, with this. What doesn't um, get backlash now? These days, nothing's ever, you know, without drama. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I think people need to go in with an open mind as well because... We don't, we don't know what is, I mean, I agree with, I wouldn't want it to be called like America Vision. I wish it had its own completely new name personally, but 
But if yeah. it's done by the EBU and it's good, then fine. I'm I'm here to accept it. I really am. And it, it will be nice though to see some of the similarities that we have in Eurovision in terms of like that postcards and like, you know, all these different things. It's just it's hard to visualize it because we're That's used to Eurovision. I have not now I haven't thought of all the postcards and all of that, like that's just something you don't think of like you just think of like the main thing but i don't yeah. know i guess it's like just seeing what american shows are like and just kind of getting an idea of it because like i don't think i mean i guess viewing habits are completely different to in europe to what's in america like mm -hmm. so whether it's different or not, as long as i like, you as long as it just keeps that essence of music uniting people and just being yeah. there because you love music like you will eventually get used to it, I guess. So mm -hmm. here's hope. Yeah, but I, I mean, I am actually looking forward to it. Yeah, but one no. thing I am looking forward to is actually learning my American geography now. Because oh like, yeah, no, I need to learn geography. all this. I need to learn all this stuff. Like I genuinely need to learn all this stuff. So it, it's it's not yeah. going to be a bad thing for me. <laughs> For sure, I, I, I literally don't know my European geography thanks to Eurovision. So if that can like yeah, spill over, with it's thing, true I though. I think fight. I have done really well lately in like quizzes because of my Eurovision knowledge, especially in the geography sections. I I failed in school, so this was my education, Eurovision. <laughs> oh, I don't know. My but brother's fair, Simpsons, like, geography so. is totally completely different. Like let's just be oh my what god, and geography has nothing to do with. I've learned more like geopolitical stuff just watching Eurovision and yeah. history as well because like once you like literally start looking into stuff and like the kind of thing that are very native to that you I learned so much just for the contest yeah. and I do just like in school which is mostly boring but yeah yeah no I, I there was nothing in school mm. that I learned that was actually useful <laughs> sorry school <laughs> thing I want to know is what's going to happen with the voting Oh that yeah. One... Oh, but you're not gonna have yeah, any TV backgrounds. To... You're not gonna have any of that. You're not gonna have anyone with the like, the fountain, the really bad green screen. We're not gonna have that. <laughs> but, I mean, I'll, I'll bet all my money that you will see something like that, but in a higher quality though. I bet you in the middle of Alaska or something, like there's a guy like <laughs> with the snow. <laughs> you will see that, and, you, and like in Hawaii, you just see like people in the beach coming out of the boat, it's like. Such stereotypical things. No, but I know I, it's stereotypical because we've never been there and we've never experienced it. But maybe this yeah, is a good exactly. thing. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Like, oh, I'm just trying to imagine it. I don't. I mean, but then again, it's like 50 countries voting, like states voting, and it's going to be so long. When does so they're going to have? To be, I mean, if the Eurovision voting as it is is really long, and we only have more or less 40 countries yeah like adding an end that's just i don't know that's what a lot because do, i don't know how they're gonna do it either their semis can might be over three days or something i don't know i have no idea but that's a lot of states yeah, they were planning to like pre-qualifying rooms or something like i don't know how to divide the semi-final no they said there was like pre-qualifying rounds the semi-finals and the final so I don't know yeah. what they're going to do because I'm guessing yeah. at 25. Oh, I don't know because with Asia, um, with the Eurovision Asia, they did say they wanted to make a smaller final. So yeah. I don't know if they're going to make a 25 state final or will they just get like. What I'm thinking is you get the pre qualifying rounds, you get maybe 10 states each. Some qualify, then they will go to the yeah. semi, the some will qualify to the final. But I honestly think that. If you start off like for it, I mean, we've been used to over the years that your vision's just grown. So, obviously, like it started off with a few countries and then now it's like a 25 26 song final. So, mm. I don't know if I've been because I mean, for the average viewer that's not used to seeing, it, I think like 25 songs in one go is a bit too much. So, I don't yeah. know if they'll start like just like kind of cutting it down and just starting with a smaller final and then eventually just build with it. Yeah. Because one thing I don't think, I mean, obviously, like, the news has just come in, but, I, like, it will all depend, like, are all the states going to be in it? Are some states going to be, like, nah, I'm not bothered with it? Like, what's going to happen? Because, I mean, like, in your vision, we're used to, like, countries coming and going, but, like, yeah, you don't know, are some, 
and like and participation fees. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just like really interested to see how it will work. Cause yeah, I, I, it's gonna be to weird. Said, yeah, it's just it's gonna be weird in general. Like, it will be interesting, but what oh. gonna come oh, to it? Because yeah. in all fairness, I do. Am I lagging? Yeah, you've just, sorry, you just cut out. What did you just say? Okay. No, that I think that, I okay, I lost my train of thought. But basically, okay. like, it will be what I'm interested in, but I think it will be a high-quality show at least. So, yeah, like, God knows what's going to happen or who's going to host it or how it goes, but... I don't know. Who's going to host the first one? Like, where are they going to host the first one? <laughs> I mean, I bet you I guess anything. I bet like, you anything. It will be in New York, LA, or something like that because they would probably want to put it somewhere that. But they probably want to put it somewhere that everyone knows. And you, I think I don't yeah. know how they're going to market this. Is this marketed towards Americans or Europeans as well? What's the thing? What did you say in the last part? Because sorry, I'm saying like, no, it's okay. Leave. It's all right. It's this heat. We're having a heat wave in in England, UK, and Europe. <laughs> We're all melting, um, including the Wi-Fi apparently. But um, yes. But, but yes, I'm just saying. Um, and like, sorry, what Nick. are they going to do? I mean, I guess the host. I guess the host will get an automatic pass to the final because I mean, why not? So then that kind of doesn't even out the semis or like the. I don't know what yeah. they do. Like, are they going to have care. like I just, each state that can put more money into the final? Because you'll have states like New York or like like LA. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't know anything about American geography, but like, yeah. they. The main thing is like viewers. So obviously, like, I don't know if there's going to be like a kind of like a big five kind of thing where like all these densely populated like states that contribute more get an automatic pass, and then it will open the debate of. Is it really fair like it is with Eurovision and all of that? So I'm just like, I'm just really, I just want to see that my, I really get to next year. So Wait, was, Nick. Oh, Nick, you back, I think. I'm back. You just, you just came back, but I, I just lost you. Okay. <laughs> What's the last, yeah, I saw my cam going off. What's the last thing did you, um, heard saying uh you were you were just talking about i can't remember she literally clocked out <laughs> now i've lost my train of thought oh my I've basically lost my train what i was saying was that it would be interesting it would be interesting to see if they're gonna get like this big five or six or whatever yeah a lot, of money people, they put in. a lot of people in the comments were saying yes, that or... sorry <laughs> sorry oh. nick on like communication problems here uh, it's okay don't yeah. worry it's not your fault oh, um wait let me let me just say quickly um that everyone in the comments was saying that um they're annoyed about the big five thing and the thing is i really think we need to like most of us have no idea where like what america is and or have you even been to america i know a lot of europeans are like that I'm not saying everyone is, but I just think this is going to be a good opportunity for us to learn something about another country. Like, I don't know what yeah. it is about Europeans just not liking the Americans so much, but like, I, I get where it comes from, but at the same time, we need to go in with an open mind. We don't know how it's going to be. Most of us, most of us like the film, right? So you don't, you don't know. And it's okay if you didn't like the film. This, this isn't going to be the film. This is going to be a new contest and it's yeah. going to be about America. And I think I'd prefer it this way than if America was in Eurovision, personally. I think is that you say go in with an open mind. Like I go in with no expectations to avoid disappointment. Yeah. Like I win. Okay, like I'm gonna go back to Eurovision. I did not like 2019. I was so disappointed with it overall. So I went in with 20, literally thinking this is gonna be banned i'm not gonna like any song it's gonna be like lost this thing where i like three songs maximum and then looking back actually listening to the album for the first time in ages 
the amount of good things over this I don't know if it's just a coincidence that it's been a good year or I wasn't expecting much, so I was pleasantly surprised by what was on offer. So I'm yeah. just literally going to go in thinking this is going to be horrible and then just let them prove me wrong because, like I said, like the EBU are going to probably invest a lot of its attention on that. Yeah. Like, and I see the good in it, I guess. I don't know, kind of extend into like America as North and South America as a continent. Who knows? I don't know. Like, yeah. I mean, I would like to see like South. I would like to see a South American version of it as well, just because, like, why not? That would be interesting. I would like system. that. I would the like region. that a lot. That would actually be. I don't know how like the geopolitical situations are between the countries in South America, but it would be interesting to see because there's a lot of countries to be fair, like like Central and Southern. So you could actually make a full on good contest there. But, you really could. But the possibilities are endless. There you go. The possibilities are endless. So we have no idea how this is going to go. I think we should go in with an open mind. There are going to be things that we don't like. There are 100% going to be things we don't like. There will be. We need to just, yeah, go, like you said, no expectations. And then anything that comes at us will be a good thing, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> I mean, it gives us, and as well, like, even if we don't like it, it's still, like, something to do. I mean, yeah, like, I don't know if, like, many fans enter Junior Eurovision, but it's kind of, like, not the same. I mean, it, it kind of is, like, a little taste, and it's, like, something to do in the off-season if you want to watch it. But, like, I watch it, but I'm not a fan of a children's show. So, kind of having, like, another contest, like, just feeding into, like, the nothing. Because, I mean, the off-season is really boring sometimes. I mean, yeah. Nothing to do with like, okay, like, what's next? So at least, I don't know, because at the end of the day, like, it all depends, like, how our state's going to elect the, the entries as well. Are they going to do their own, like, national final show? God knows, but it does give us something for, like, I mean, it's like, what, November, like, three yeah. months before it would be, what, like, around this time, like, yeah, like that's when it will start picking up. So yeah. I mean, we had, it gives we had. Summer break and get in. So I know you, what I was going to say was we had junior Eurovision, but like, I mean, personally, like it wasn't anything that I really got into, which I would still need to do reactions to junior Eurovision. But like yeah. for the adult contest, it's going to be nice to kind of have something else. I agree completely. Like it will be nice in that sense. I just hope, like, I just a lot of joke entries. I, I actually want serious entries. I actually want to. I don't know, like something different. Like I'm just used to like hearing European artists or like Latin American artists, but not yeah. like artists from the USA. Except for the mainstream ones, because the good thing about this would be is there's probably so many underrated singers that don't get much like attention. They have big artists that it will be a way to actually get in the spot. So that is one thing I'm looking forward to. I just hope. I mean, I know they said that, like, amateur singers or whatever, like, big label singers can go, but I'm just hoping that these kind of undiscovered singers get the chance to shine, because yeah. that's the whole of it. Like, I mean, each to their own, like. Yeah. Would big names want to put that in a competition? If they yeah. have the same attitude, the UK version of it, like, it's going to sound well, but let's just hope that yeah. they actually take it seriously and just, like, do their best yeah. honestly yeah no like um a lot of people are actually happy about the latin america i think it was kai that said latin america eurovision yes i am down for that i think that should be a thing for sure but i think we will see a lot of that in this contest i do think we will i hope because i mean like oh am i here am i not yeah you're there you're there you're there, you're there. i thought you went for a second yeah. there I remember when I was doing Spanish back at uni, like, I got, we got this article that said, like, I don't know what year it was, but it was, like, in, like, the 2030s, that Spanish would be the most spoken language in the US, so I just hope to see some Spanish songs, because, I mean, at the end of the day, like, there are, like, Spanish language, like, TV stations in America, where all their programming is in Spanish, so I kind of do want kind of that vibe 
or kind of like mix it up because I mean like it's like Camila Cabello she does such an amazing job into kind of getting like that Latin flavor into like mainstream songs so I don't know like the possibilities are endless because like, I mean can you find a loophole? Well, I know that people have to be from that state, but can you be a singer from that state and literally get yeah. huge ass artists just yeah. like collaborating with you? And like, that's something that I don't know. I, I would be interested to see. I just like kind of want to, as long as somewhere like someone does, I, I just don't want 50 English songs. I kind of want something different. Yeah. Like, for all you know, you can get singers that come from other countries and they'll sing a song in that language. I don't know. Like, Probably not, because, I mean, that's not going to win you votes. But yeah. you never know. So You never know. We never know. We don't know. And I hope it actually goes forward, because if it's going to be like Eurovision Asia, where they said, yeah, it's coming, I can, I mean, is it going to come really? Like, I don't know. Like, hopefully the virus dies down next year, because I don't really see working with this pandemic still going on. So, mm -hmm. so I mean, but... At least there's some good news, okay? Like, 2020's been, like, such a year. At least there's something positive, so I don't think... Yeah, no, I, I think I, yeah, I think people, people will take this as a negative, but I think we need... There's so many real negatives in the world that, like, I think this is... needs. This is going to be a good thing. <laughs> it's got to be... <laughs> oh, no, the, we've, no, we've had enough of the bad. It's not the thing when we're looking like kids, but... No, I don't think that they'll just mess around with it and take it as a joke. Like, if, it would have been different if they would have just said, yeah, America can participate for a year and then they just make, um, they, they just come out with something that fans don't like. But, mm -hmm. I mean, let them do their own thing. Like, in all fairness, like, I know many Euro fans, including me, we don't want the US in it. So, and we always said, just let them do their own thing. Yeah, they yeah. Their own thing, so just give it to them you know what i mean as long as they don't interfere with revision i think it will be okay unless yeah. they start taking it seriously and then in a few years i wouldn't mind them when i'm just sending them to eurovision i don't know yeah. like well maybe you know what maybe them. maybe they could have like the the Amer Amer some of the american contests like do the interval show one or two times just like in the not the in whole interval show because it's nice to see the different cultures in eurovision in this time but you know they could be something like incorporated in the show then they're not even like participating if that makes sense but they can still do some things yeah. i think it could be some interesting collaborations i think they could do it i mean it would be if you got it now like enough to ever wins like be you i mean you can have them like as an inter i mean the winner you can have them in the interval act both ways but i think it would be such good promotion to get the eurovision winner forming as an interval in the american because yeah i mean you conquered europe why not like try conquer like the other side of the pond now like that is probably maybe something that i mean i don't know how the partnership is going to be like with the ebu and God knows which network it's going to be on because I don't think they've mentioned it yet. Yeah, no, we. This is very early on. Nobody knows like any crossover competition based. Like, I'm not entirely sure yet, but it would be interesting to see. To be fair, like, if there will be crossovers or what they're going to do, but who knows? I mean, as long as they don't think it's like another kind of competition, like The Voice or something, like. Yeah, that honestly, kills me. Shall I hear American? Oh, so your revision's like the voice? No, no, no. Like, That's the worst. Like, That's the worst like that. thing. I hate that when but people say movies. that. It's horrible, isn't it? No, but I think movie was a good step, in, I guess, because it kind of did give you a feel of what it's about. It's not accurate, but it's an idea of what it is. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, for sure. I'm just interested yeah. to see, like, which state, like, <laughs> If that, if that, I mean, I don't know how to vote them, but I'm just like, dying who like, which states get along with which or whatever, because that's yeah. just going to be fun. Like, it's going to yeah. be the Greece and side of, of the states. Like, I'm interested to see. I did like a that's post on Instagram, though. I wanted to see if, um, how many people voted for, because I did a vote for this. I'm seeing how many people didn't want to see this thing happen. 
I'm going to just check now because I'm curious to see what the what the public are thinking because I think me and you think the kind of same. Okay, yeah, 60% of people said no. What the fuck no? <laughs> to be precise. So Don't a lot of people no. Yeah. So 40% are happy, which isn't as bad as I thought. I thought that was going to be worse to be I, fair. Yeah. Mm, I I think we just have to give it a chance. I mean I, it's because for us fans, it's such a small community. The song contest is our baby and we don't want anything to happen to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Or we don't want a really, like, not good... We don't want, like, a crappy spin-off. But I don't... I mean, it's like you said, to wait and see. Like, for all we know, it's good and it's different. But like, what, like, it... it it doesn't harm to have like another contest that's literally a spin off. Like, it's just more entertainment. As it long is. As they don't geo if they geo block us and we watch it, mm. that kind of be like a yeah. shot in the foot. Like, yeah, okay. it's because it's because the contest is such a big deal. You're right. It, it's it's such a big deal to some people and and me as well. I mean, it is a big deal to me, but. I can't sit around and say they're going to be bad if I haven't seen it yet. Like that's just not. Yeah. That's not the right thing to do. The right thing is to do is to give it a chance because that's it's going to go ahead anyway. It's going to happen. We have to accept it's going to happen and hopefully they'll make the best out of it. That's the only thing we can hope for. Like that is it. And I know a lot of people probably can get really upset, but honestly, just don't waste your energy. I'm sure it's going to be something different, but exciting. And that's it's going to be OK, guys. <laughs> I'm excited now. I think more I talk about it, the more excited I'm getting. I guess it's just you just have to hype it, like, and it depends on the market because like this is gonna be something new for America. So it's it all depends like where they take it. I mean, I don't know, I'm trying to like think. I just don't want to go into any my frame. I don't want to think that's gonna be like Eurovision. I just think it's gonna be completely different because yeah. I don't want any appointments. I I don't know what works in the US. Because I don't know. I just don't know. I'm yeah. just excited. Oh. Yeah, me too. Well, anyway, Nick, I, I think I think I think everything has been said pretty much. I mean, it was such a short thing. We're gonna have updates. We'll find out some more information, and we can, you know, see what's gonna happen with this America Vision. Because <laughs> I have no That's idea. Cool. But I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys out there think about this. I know. Most of you are not too happy, but as I said, keep an open mind. We still have to find out the details. And until that happens, I think we should be a little bit excited at least because this is a good thing, I think. And yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Nick, for coming on my show. Um, I'm, you, I'm completely cutting out here. So if I don't say bye, I am so sorry. But no, don't worry. Going down. It's fine. You've done great. Thank you very much. And thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. I will see you guys very soon oh. in a reaction video.